welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good okay so um, uh, begin with the brief introduction so this is my channel if you are the returning viewers you might already be knowing and uh, i started with uh, this integration playlist uh, which by the way is also an active playlist and it has like 20 videos by now and uh, it has like everything you will ever need and uh, uh, from uh, implementation to explanation testing documentation it has everything and everything is explained using real time use case so you must uh, check out this playlist if you are into service now into integration because integration is very uh, core of service now uh, if you are experienced like even 2 to 3 years between it's a uh, very good you must explore that and this use cases playlist this will to definitely turn out to be a huge uh, uh, you know a practice point or just an upskilling thing uh, because the use cases that i have taken here firstly all of them are from the interview uh, post that i shared uh, if you had checked out yeah i had shared two itsm interview posts uh, in linkedin uh, like Uh, in this span of uh, uh, i gave interview in the in this whatever span so during that time i had shared and whatever questions i have been taking are from that uh, so i have shared some 40 something questions already so let me yeah here it is so this part 2 was recently shared by me and currently this playlist is taking the questions from part 1 which is this as you can see i already did all these things hide new button for some users for this so i uh, made a very elaborate video on configure uh, list control and there are three use cases and i have explained several more things uh, within the list control you must check that out that is a very innovative video and it is having unexplored features of configuring list control it's very nice you must explore that and then modifying the drop down values this is also done uh like uh, this is not normal drop down value it is depending on two fields as you can see and there's a tweak also using second client script yeah and then there is how can you directly show assigned incidents and my own group incidents can list you no other incidents so this is what i achieved uh, previously using uh, uh, before query business rule which is a generic approach but obviously i also mentioned in this video that this is not the best approach or the recommended approach because of the performance issues it will cause in the system okay i explained it elaborately uh, so if you haven't checked out this video you can check it out and um, <clears throat> so in this video i am going to achieve that same thing uh, like in the list view only the incidents which are <clears throat> in which the logged in user is the caller or assigned to or uh, the assignment group is such in which he is the member only those incidents are visible that same thing i am going to achieve it using uh, access control list or acl so people who are new to acl you must know this that acl is an elevated role and it required security admin uh, to uh, you know work on that Uh, at least edit it update it kind of things you can read the table without it also but if you have to work on acl means basically you have to create or update any existing acl you need security admin so if you don't elevate to that you won't be seeing the new button here okay so record and uh, the type i'll mention as record as you can see in type field we have several option acl in itself is a very 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 big and very crucial topic in service now i would say and it's like it's very big okay so in this we are just taking one of the use cases okay you can see these are different types uh, so of course we are going with record now operation i want is read because in the list view we are doing that decision type is very important here i mention why because if you create another allow if uh, acl okay then what will happen is uh, here what we will do we will check the record if the record is having a caller assigned to our group member kind of thing then it will grant the access okay and if we make it allow if then it will uh, run but if there is any other acl in the system I mean, listen this carefully if there is any other acl in the system which is granting uh, the people access with any other role let's say snc internal or itel or incident manager or uh, something related to so or anything there are several 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 roles so via those acls also they will be able to see so there will be nothing special means it is just adding it to uh, 
giving access so uh, earlier how means before zanadu uh, before zanadu how acl was it just worked on giving access kind of thing not restricting access okay so if uh, these 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 role grant access to see these records then uh, give this also give another role also give another condition also now this person will also be able to see the record okay but we didn't have any uh, kind of thing to hide means restrict the access but with zanadu this deny unless came which will allow uh, the uh, to uh, restrict the access also and deny unless acl uh, will be evaluated first and then all the allow if acl will be evaluated so if uh, we deny the access using this acl then the people who are getting access from any other role will not be able to get only this uh, uh, way only uh, if he is granted access by this acl then he will be granted access okay so basic thing is we have to choose the de decision type as deny unless here and we are making it on incident table which is pretty much clear um, okay now roles we uh, we don't want any and okay i'll just check on this admin overrides means i don't want admin overrides okay security admin we don't want any and uh, first of all i'm just showing you using data condition okay so what will be here uh means without a script i'm showing you first so first is caller then i told it was assigned to okay then assigned to is dynamic me or next we will add assignment group one of my groups okay so i'll just save this one so what will happen Hmm. So what will happen that I will only be granted access to the uh, incident records in which, like I mentioned, only to those records. Now, let's just wait till it saves. Okay, this is already saved. Okay, now let's refresh the. Okay, I guess. yeah so you can see that i am now not able to see any uh, means any of the 20 records in this first page this is the difference between before bi before query based business rule and acl in before query business rule such things are not coming up okay uh, it just filled it is just modifying the query itself it is just modifying the query itself and uh, then it is presenting you the list okay so but here it is hiding uh, here why i am able to see because caller is me caller is system administrator that's why i am able to see so that's what is happening now let me just impersonate any other person like i took this person he was having some 25 incidents like earlier in the before query business rule we had done then he was having okay let's see now yeah so you can see that he is able to see all these incidents now it may be that he is a uh, group member like he is a member of the group in which these incident is assigned to here so yeah it can happen so you can see it's uh, working well and good now uh, let's just in the impersonation and uh, okay let me just uh, do this via script and show you because uh, many a times uh, we are asked to do this via script only so then i unless was the type operation is read type is record active is true and name is incident dot none incident okay see here okay this is created by me today yeah so i already showed you using the data conditions how we can achieve that same thing i am going to show you by scripting which i feel is important because uh, i was asked to do it by scripting only directly probably because they wanted to uh, check out the scripting 
knowledge <laughs> whatever so I'll just uh, uh, remove these conditions and I'll click on advanced and then I'll just give the conditions here so what I will give is uh, if current dot caller ID equal to equal to GS dot get user ID so what I am checking is if the caller is the currently logged in user or same thing I will check with this Uh, this thing uh, what uh, user ID sorry with the assigned to and important thing to check with his uh, the assignment group so how we can check if he is the member of the assignment group for that we will do um, so you can see here get my groups so what we will do is dot here I will just write yeah current dot assignment group okay hmm. so we are just checking this is greater than minus 1 so in that case we will just give that answer equals to true only in these conditions uh, the user is to be granted access or else I'll give answer equal to false okay so let's just save it yeah so yeah, I guess I guess this is saved okay so let's, let's just refresh the page okay so now you can see it is working it is still working like only one record I'm able to see we will able to uh, better verify it we will be able to better verify it when we impersonate that uh, second user that I said uh, this Ragiri, Bo Ragiri, yeah, yeah, because for him there was some, uh, you know, group members thing also, so yeah, so you can see this is working exactly like the conditions that I had shown you. So this is how we uh, do it in case of a script, and this is how we do with data conditions, and this is how this uh, will be done with ACL, yeah. So you can see there is incident module here separately. So this is what I was talking about when we go to the incident list that itself will be redirecting you to a uh, now since we deactivated the ACL now I should Okay, I I forgot to deactivate this one. Okay, so now this is deactivated. So let's just uh, refresh the incident. So now you can see that all the 81 incidents are again visible. Okay, so this is L is deactivated. Now about the third way I was talking is uh, yeah about the visibility. We will directly change the visibility. Now you can see the link type is none. So what I'm gonna do here is yeah <clears throat> so I was talking about the module so for this uh, you can just go to the URL from arguments and uh, you can just go to this apply the filter or or yeah so let's just run this one and you can see the filter here so you can just go here and you can give this in the arguments so now let's just save it 
No. Yeah. Now I'll just uh, redirect from all here. Yeah. And you can see uh, that uh, when I'm clicking on, yeah, and you can see that the uh, our URL from arguments is automatically redirecting me to uh, that one. Um, to the page means where all the filters are already applied. So, yeah. Let's just impersonate any user also and see this thing. Uh, like this person. Okay. Yeah, but as you can see, this is still not the best method because whenever uh, you go to incident dot list and you're not going from all, uh, huh, means whenever you go to incident dot list and you're not going from all, then this thing will not work. Okay, then this thing will, will not work. And even if the person has access, he will just click on all and then it will start working from him for him. And there was issue with, uh, huh, but definitely this is one of the methods to achieve it. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was still, like before query BR, I was telling again that has performance issues. So the best way to implement this is using ACL. So this ACL will work you in all the conditions, whether you go using any module, whether you go using uh, directly incident dot list, whether you do anything, this will work. So yeah, uh, that was that. I hope I hope you learned a lot from this video. And uh, please, please, please like, share and subscribe if you find my LinkedIn post or video content valuable or helpful in any, any, any way. Uh, I would be uh, extremely grateful and this would motivate me to continue sharing. Uh, that is that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.